see the looks of this basket, this plastic basket. Alright, you can see the, the flipped view, three-dimensional view of this basket, as you can see. So I want to set uh, injection locations so that uh, the field preview can be done. Okay, let's just start by setting the injection location all at the center, all here. That's two, three, four, five injection locations so having done that uh, we're going to try and look at the field preview for these baskets this plastic basket so let's look at the field preview it's processing the field preview so you can see the field preview let's now Try and uh, look at the animation of this field preview. Alright, you can see the field is taking place right from the five points of the injection locations. Let's go away from that field preview. Now, the next thing we want to do now is to mesh so that this will be a workable. Um, part file that we can analyze the pressure is increasing with time now the clamp force xy plot similarly is also increasing with time the density you can see that that also is relative to time the extension rate this is now the report being generated in HTML Autodex mode flow insights 2024is now asking us the type of uh, import we have to place this on the 3d now the most important thing you need to know here is that uh, the mid plane the dual domain and so three solid solid 3d uh you know the type of uh mesh layout that this particular part will belong to all right now based on the discretion of knowing that thickness the more thick the part is then the more three solid 3d like it is that the more thin like the edges are the more dual domain like it is so in this case i won't go to the solid 3d because there is a lot of thickness uh attached to this um particular object i'm bringing in Okay, let's start by creating a new project here. Audio jungle. I call this basket 
3D basket projects. So the location is in administrator document my AMI project 3D basket project. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import the baskets we're going to import the path file and leave it on as a solid 3d path file So this is the basket. This is how the basket looks like. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, let's use our view to to see the looks of this basket, this plastic basket. All right, you can see the. A flipped view, three-dimensional view of this basket, as you can see. So I want to set uh, injection locations so that uh, the field preview can be done. Okay, let's just start by setting the injection location one at the center one here that's two three four five then um okay five injection locations so having done that uh, we're going to try and look at the field preview for these baskets this plastic basket so let's look at the field preview it's processing the field preview so you can see the field preview. Let's now try and uh, look at the animation of this field preview. All right, you can see the field is taking place right from the five points of the injection locations. Let's move away from that field preview. Now, the next thing we want to do now is to mesh that this will be a workable um, path file that we can analyze and see uh, what it will look like during the production time factors that affect its production So we're going to mesh and uh, convert this into an analyzed, a ready uh, part to be analyzed.
Yeah, we see the simulation compute manager. The simulation compute manager is a very important tool for simulation in Autodex mode flow. So here, as usual, we have a local host. Right? We are using the mode flow inside for this process. So all we have to do now is to launch so that the machine will commence. So the machine is starting now.
audio jungle. Audio Jungle.
Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle.
Audio Jungle. <sighs>
Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle.
So that's the end of this meshing process for this basket, plastic basket. So we simply click OK and we head off for the analysis. Let's save the log file. And we now head off to the analysis. We now want to run this analysis. Based on the mesh. All right, so here, of course, like I told you, you can log in into your account. Uh, for those of you that attended the, the training, the workshop training on mode flow plastic injection last year, you can log on your account I created for you. And um, optionally, you can use tokens. Those tokens I spoke about previously in the mouse cover fill mesh analysis. But in this case, I'm focusing on this. I'm focusing on this uh, specific uh, local host. All right. Now, if you click here, you can easily um, see the existing job running jobs on the system. Let's wait for that to load. All right, so you can see that, you can see that with this uh, system, I've run several uh, processes. And of course, you can see that this local network, so it's running within the system. It's using the existing resources on the system. And that is why your system configuration has to be optimal when you're running simulation, all right? both for viewing, both for meshing, both for analysis, for cost advisory, uh, for your products, all right? You need to have very good resources to run these things. So you can see I have three completed projects, I mean, processes there. Uh, the previous one was the mechanical part of the generating set. And the current one is the basket. Now the maximum, you can see the configuration here, the job limit is three for inside synergy and advisor respectively okay we can limit increase limit the only reason why you should increase this limit is when you have enough ram if you have up to 64 gigabytes of ram or 32 all right I, I can recommend that you increase but in the absence of that please do not do not increase it because you may not uh it might not be the best option so let's come back here now and roll out this analysis so the analysis has been, is checking its scheduled as you can see from the study pane now it has changed to running it has switched to running this is the basket project So you can see the analysis is starting with the feeding phase with the velocity control um, and then the velocities slash pressure switch over as well as the pressure control now the columns the time column is there the fill volume 
the injection pressure in pressure units, the clamp force in turn, the flow rate in centimeter cube, the frozen volume in percentage as well as the status. Now over here you can see that the analysis is complete. Quickly we look at the, the results. Alright, this is the flow as you can see on the screen. Is the fuel time flow and let's move to the pressure at velocity or volume pressure switch over so then um, we now move to the next thing which is the temperature at flow front All right. so you can see that uh, it went from 211 all the way to 220 degrees that's the temperature then the pressure the pressure is increasing with time now the clamp force xy plot similarly is also increasing with time the density can see that that also is relative to time the extension rate completed in 0.62 seconds time to reach maximum rejection temperature Can see that that goes from 0 0.0365 all the way to 45.09 respectively 
and you look at the growth form. And we look at the pressure. This is about the uh, third pressure. The first pressure was uh, at VP switchover, and the other one was at, at injection location XY plot. Now this is the pressure itself. Going from from um, 0 0.00 to 8.376 MPa pressure. Pressure unit. Now let's look at ramp speed recommended XY plus. You see, there was a bit of uh, unsteadiness between some within some time range, but then it, it went down with uh, the time sequence. Now let's look at the shear rate. And see the animation of the shear rate. It's measured in seconds. Then the shear rate maximum. Also in seconds. If you have the shear stress at war. measured in time seconds now let's look at the temperature and then we look at the velocity Then we look at uh, the viscosity. And the pressure at end of fill. Frozen layer fraction at end of field. Then let's move on to the frozen layer fraction. shrinkage then the air traps average volumetric shrinkage the polymer fuel region measured in seconds then the wheel surface movement And the wheel surface formation in 3D. And the wheel lines. Then let's talk about the, the path lines. The geometry is going to help process this out. Generating path lines, rendering path lines, audio jungle, 
You see that's the that's the path lines. And finally we look at the cavity. Cavity weight. So that's just about that. So you can see the execution time here. So analysis commenced at uh, Wednesday, January 31st at about 4 p.m. 8 minutes past 4 p.m. Nigerian time. Uh, then the it completed at uh, 17. That's five, about few minutes to six. It's about uh, 21 minutes to six o'clock. CPU time used. 43 42.11 as one hour 12 minutes and elapsed wall clock time is 54 74 00 that's one hour 31 minutes respectively so quickly um i want us to just see how we're going to generate reports uh this is exactly what we're working on let's say we add all then we click on next. Now I would rather prefer this as um, you know well HTML document. Previously in 2023, um we have presentation in uh, PowerPoint, but now it's just in HTML documents. Okay, so we make sure you fill this uh, title prepared by requested by review by company logo. So we click OK and uh, we simply generate. This is now the report being generated in HTML. Autodex Mode Flow Insights 2024. Audio Okay, so here we go. This is the report. Audio jungle. And you can see that you also have the analysis log attached to it. And the result summary also attached to it as well as the machine setup respectively. You could as well take this to the browser. So you can see that in its clear format. Can see everything that you need to know about this 
analysis is included in this file every single thing including the log the log file the result summary as well as the path study 